All right, King. So let's talk about your economic systems one pager. This is your assessment for economic systems. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is a one pager? Well, a one pager is just that. You will have a page of paper, just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of white plain paper. And your job is to fill up that sucker with everything that you have learned, all of your knowledge. You're going to take it out of your brain and you're going to put it out on the page, hence the one pager. So we've got our learning targets up top. You could read those, but I want to dive into the directions through a combination of sketches or drawings and text. And that's the key sketches and drawings. This is not art class. You are not being evaluated on it, but you are being evaluated on your ability to visualize and just kind of show and display information in a visual format, not necessarily your quality of your drawing skills. And text, as in keywords, phrases, concepts, and ideas, not as in copying things down. Through a combination of sketches and drawings and text, your job is to show me everything that you've learned over the past several days pertaining to economic systems. These topics can include, but are not limited to, so this is like the base level of what you must include, the three basic economic questions. What are we going to make? How are we going to make it? Who's going to get it? Why do we have those three questions? Because of the concept of scarcity. So explain those questions. Explain how they're connected to scarcity. Explain what scarcity is. The economic system spectrum. Command on one end. Market on another. Those are the two theoretical ideals. The people's grocery store. Phil's grocery store. Those are like the theories. All the way on one end, complete total government control. All the way on the other end, total freedom uh, for the people. But everything is somewhere in the squishy middle. Everything is a mixed economic system. Some of them, like Australia, like the United States, we're more on the market side. Some of them, like France, they're a little bit more in the middle, but more on the market side. Some of them, uh, like China, are more on the command side, but still a little bit of freedom. And then some of them, like, say, North Korea, are very much almost entirely on that command side, right? But it ebbs, it flows, it sways like a willow tree. How's that for a little bit of a poetic device? Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, Show the spectrum, explain what it is, and just kind of, you know, uh, the concept of that spectrum. Then, also, what are some key characteristics of different countries that fall on it uh, and where they would fall, right? So, like, for example, when you learn about Australia, you learned how there were very little rules or regulations governing business. That's a characteristic of a market economy. Um, when you learned about France, you saw that they provided a lot of uh, services for their citizens, but there was a lot of choice in terms of what businesses and how those businesses are run. So that's kind of somewhere in the middle. And then when you learned about North Korea, you talked about how the government basically mandated everything uh, and decided everything and set the prices of everything. That is price setting. That's going to be evidence of a command economy. Then the six economic priorities and goals. Um, that's something that you're going to want to be aware of. What are those six goals? Uh, what do they mean? What do they look like? And, and just maybe even talk a little bit about where those goals might fall on the spectrum, right? For example, freedom is more on the market side of things and uh, security we talked about is maybe more on that command side of things. Uh, and then lastly, just some specific countries and examples of economic systems we learned about. We looked at three in class. There's others out there. Um, you could do your own research or you could just use those three to kind of illustrate this idea of a spectrum. Um, it's really up to you, but those are uh, kind of the minimum requirements. Again, through a combination of images and text, you need to show me what you learned about the learning targets. Do not just focus on one idea. Don't just talk about the spectrum. Don't just talk about the questions. Show me everything that you have learned. The key to doing this is to make sure you explain the so what. If you just regurgitate and vomit information onto the page, A, gross, don't vomit anywhere. B, um, provide context, provide deep, rich meaning and understanding and explanation. I need to know that you know this stuff, not just that you can copy down this stuff, okay? Um, fill up that page with your knowledge. Before you ask me, Mr. Ganton, Mr. Ganton, is this good enough? Ask yourself these questions. Is it thoughtful? Is it detailed? Does it show a clear learning and thinking about the topic? Is And what is important to know about economics? And then lastly, is it is it pretty cool? Is it pretty high quality? Did you go big? Did you have some fun with it? When thinking of resources to use, um, I'm just going to click over here. Um, on your uh, hand, uh, assignment in the Dropbox, there are four resources that are super helpful. Three of them are YouTube videos where some of you have already watched those videos um, because they are kind of an overview of our different class topics. So some of you have already watched them. Um, you could rewatch them or you could watch them for the first time. What a novel thought. And then I also have our economic systems handout there as well. Um, so those are the core resources that we have available to us in class. Uh, but then, of course, you could find your own credible resources. But again, 
Focus on what we learned about in class. Don't just go to the Goog and regurgitate information. Lastly, here are some examples. These examples are from a different topic. They are about oil. Yeah, so if all you do is just look at these and you're like, ooh, mischievous scheming. I'm going to find a good looking one like this one right here. And then I'm going to copy it and recreate it for myself. <laughs> um, a, that's cheating. Don't cheat. Cheating terrible. Don't cheat. B, you'd be cheating with the wrong stuff. We're not talking about oil. So if you try and turn in something that's all about oil, A, I'm going to know you cheated. And that alone is going to upset me. But B, um, I'm going to get kind of judgy because you cheated using the wrong info. Like if you're going to cheat people, like at least cheat with the right stuff, I guess. Is that a life lesson? I don't know. So don't cheat um, by copying like someone's oil assignment. Like that's just, just don't do that. That's bad. Don't be bad. Be good. You're good people. Um, I'm rambling now. That's all we got. Um, let me know if you have any questions. There is your overview. Um, go nuts with this. Have a lot of fun. Let me know if you need anything. Hope you're doing well. See ya.